Hey, good morning guys. It is the morning of my first day on this job. I will probably hire in this morning and then uh, start my test tomorrow. Maybe today, but most likely tomorrow. I'm not sure yet. We'll find out. If you guys missed the videos before this of me coming up here, uh, you can go check those out. I traveled two days. It took me two days to travel up here with the camper. I'm in West Virginia. Anyway, it is... 5.30 in the morning. I'm about ready here. I'm going to leave here in about 15 or 20 minutes and uh, follow a co-worker of mine to the yard. It's about 30 minutes from the campground here. That's what I'm doing. I just had some breakfast. Got my coffee made. Thermos of coffee over there. Pack my lunch and yeah, I think just pack my lunch and then I should be ready to rock and roll. Let's get this day started. And of course, whole thermos of coffee. Time to go to work. All right, ready to rock and roll. Hey, boy, it's time to go to work. What's that? Let me see this trailer of yours. Golly. Better be made, huh? Yeah. Be one mad hound. That ain't hot. Ah, old Brent Walker himself in the flesh. Well, we are off to a good start this morning. Note to self always have your social security card on hand or at least in your truck or something. I know it's like it goes against some things that a lot of us were raised, you know, you don't want to carry it around because you don't want to lose it, you don't want to lose your wallet. And that's why I left it in the file cabinet in the trailer. But I wasn't sure if that's where I left it. Before today, before this job, I have always kept it in my wallet because of this reason right here. Hiring in, you have to have your social security card like they literally wouldn't do anything else until I had it. Not a copy of it, nothing. They had to have proof of the actual card itself and everything. So I was more worried about my voided check and my truck insurance. Those are two things I always forget whenever I hire in. And the one morning that I go to hire in, I'm looking around in my truck. I got my checkbook, I got my truck insurance, I got all that. And then I didn't even think about my social security card because it's always usually right in my wallet. So anyway, luckily it was at the trailer. Drove back to the trailer, found it. Now I'm headed back to the yard to uh, hire in. Uh, sounds like I might get to uh, start my test today. So that would be good. Usually hiring in takes half a day or three quarters of a day so usually you won't start a test or nothing until until the day after but it, I don't know they're acting like I might be able to start it today so it's fine with me anyway that's how it's going it's always something always something it's good to have your ducks in a row when hiring in signed up now time to go start on this 42 inch 600 wall x70 test
Well, they caught me on undercut on the top side. Darn the luck. Now I gotta go find another job. No, but seriously, I just busted a test. You know, it's just part of the game. You know, and the only reason I love busting tests is because it makes me better. It makes me better. I, uh, everybody's like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, the inspector's like, I hate to do it. I hate to do it. And I'm like, man, it's, it's fine. Really, it's fine. And like, and I mean that sincerely. Like, I mean that. I mean that sincerely because it makes me better. I'm thankful that I have a little bit of money in the bank. I'm not broke. It could be worse. Always could be worse. It's hard on your pride more than anything, but it, I just try to take it and learn from it. You know, that's that's all this is, just a learning experience. And all that tells me is that I need to sharpen up, be able to come in here and just... I have a tendency to soak my beads in. And on a 45, I don't know. I mean, I was soaking it on the... I was holding it on the top the whole time. So I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I think what I need to learn to do is don't soak it in there. Kind of, Kind of just move with it. That way I don't have time to undercut, you know, just break the edges down and be done with it. I think that's what I need to do. So I just, I just want to practice. That's all I want to do. Whenever something like this happens, I just want to practice. I just want a set of bevels to practice on. That's all I want to do because I want to, I want to get better, you know, that's, this is how you get better. You know, a reality check like this makes you realize, okay, I got to get my, I got to tighten up and that's what I'm, that's what I'm fixing to do. I'm fixing to tighten up. If you ain't never busted a test, you ain't taking near enough of them. That's what I heard one time. One thing's for sure is I still got plenty of coffee. So that's good. Pour us a cup of coffee. Eat us bite to bite to eat here. Take it easy. Reminisce. So anyway, I gotta call Kayla and uh then head back to the trailer, hang out. But yeah, that's how that's how first day went. Magnificent absolutely love it i'm just glad to be walking and breathing and everything else all right so update on the situation busted my test yesterday and the question is is what do i do now so i'm still in west virginia i'm going to i've actually got a test set up for tuesday which is a few days out it's wednesday right now and uh but that gives me time to I gotta get, since I had a blowout on the way up here, I gotta find a new tire, and I think this other tire's flat. So it gives me time to look for a new wheel, because I need a new spare and I need a new wheel for the camper. So I need two tires and one wheel. I've been calling around about that this morning. Of course, it gives me time to uh, edit some video, film some video and things like that. So kind of play catch up, which is good. So the whole, it's kind of a tough situation whenever you, you bust a test, you can either you can either go back home, or if you're in an area where there's lots of work going on, you can stay around and call around, make phone calls, and do whatever to find another test. With the union, I, I hired out through dispatch, through the, I was on the, the list of, I was on the out of work list, so therefore, that's how I got this job, was I dispatched in. So since I busted my test, I just got back on the out of work list, and another job came across last night, and I applied for it, and uh, got a test coming up now the only bad thing about the situation that we're in right now is I have a wedding my sister's getting married November 3rd and I'm officiating the wedding so I'm, I'm gonna be there no matter what uh, reality of it is I probably should have waited till after the wedding but the thing about pipeline is whenever you're out of money you're you're out of money like we're not totally out of money fortunately but we were trying to go to work whenever we still had some money in case something like this happened but the downfall to all this is, the worst part about it is with the out of work list, they've, they've been having a lot of layoffs. So dispatch is great for not knowing anybody because I just joined the union like a year ago. So dispatch is great for being able to get a job. But if, you, if I bust this test, it'll be the second test in a row, you get put on the very end of the wheel. And there's like 700 welders on the wheel right now. So that's the dilemma. So... If I would have just waited to apply for the job, I could have kept my low number. I'm like around 200 right now and just stayed off till after the wedding. But so that's the situation we're in, but I did not know all that about dispatch. So I'm learning the hard way. So, but that's the situation we're in and that is an update of what's going on. But got some good news. Sam, my helper, he's not my helper right now. 
if you guys watch my channel at all, he helped me on the last job I was on last year over in Pennsylvania. He broke out as a welder. He is on a job close to where I'm at right here. And so I'm going to go to dinner with him tonight. So I'll bring you guys along. Uh, that'll be fun to get to see him for a little bit tonight. So I got dinner plans tonight. Just doing some laundry. Uh, gonna do some editing today. Uh, biggest takeaway from this situation that we're in is uh, you gotta love the game. I love this. I love, I know what I did wrong on my test and I'm gonna do everything in my power to fix that. And that, that to me just, I don't, I don't love busting a test because of the situation it puts you in, but I love failing because you learn so much more from it and you remember it if you care at all about your job. So the biggest takeaway is that you have to love the game. That way, whenever times like this happen, it doesn't disturb your path. That's what will get you through. The love for the game will get you through in the long term because if you don't love the game, situations like this, like busting a test and getting all in your head and stuff and being out of money and all this, it can cause, it can discourage you and make you want to just quit. You know what I mean? Like it's it's stressful. It is a very can be a very high stress game. This pipeline life, especially being a welder, but um, that's why you gotta love it. And that's the biggest takeaway that I want to share with you guys. Anybody that's uh, wanting to get into it or anybody that watches my channel that wonders a lot about the pipeline welding end of things is do it because you love it. Don't do it just for the money because if you do it just for the money. You'll find yourself in a lot of bad situations and unfortunate situations, not always your fault, or you feel like they won't always be your fault. Uh, another piece of advice, I would try to take ownership over everything. That way you can, everything happens because of you. I do that like it was nobody's fault but my own that I busted this test, so I'm gonna do everything in my power to fix that mistake so it won't happen again, and uh, it'll just help me in the long run, looking at it that way. If you look at it like everything is your fault, you'll get along a lot better. It's hard, it's definitely hard, and it's hard to uh, open up about these things, but I'm glad that we get in these situations so we can share them with you guys so you know that you're not the only ones or just so we can prepare you guys or whatever, know what you're stepping into whenever you step into this pipeline lifestyle. It uh, can be very stressful, but if you love it, you'll make it. So anyway, I'm gonna get back to editing here and uh, we'll see you guys tonight when we go to dinner. All right, just pulled up to the uh, eating joint here. Waiting on Sam, I don't think he's here yet. There he is. Oh, Sam Lord, Prodig prodigal on, son man? has returned. <laughs> How's it been? Awesome. Good, good, good. Yeah. Well, I think you've got a little taller. Yeah. yeah probably. <laughs> probably so. Hey. 